And welcome to St. Mary's Stadium for this match here between Vanuatu and Turkey. The seventh place playoff in the Emerging Nations Rugby League World Championship. James Preston with you in commentary. We've just seen a fantastic match between the Latin Heat and the Asian side. That was won by the Asian team, 18 points to 14. The rain just beginning here, and we are outside for this one on the top of a truck. It's grassroots footy at its best. There we have it. That was the national anthem for the Turkish side. Now here is the Vanuatu national anthem. So both of our national anthems complete. We are just about ready to get in a way. Let's quickly run through the two lineups here for you. And I must say, the Turkey one is an absolute mess in terms of the numbers. Wearing number nine but playing fullback, Alpa Karabork, the 32 and the 24 will be your wingers. Keenan Tapris and Hussein Karabork. The centres in 28 and 2. Presley Salmon Cochran and Errol Carter in the halves, 13 and 26. Jansen Turgut. And Jaden Salman Cochran, the props, Aidan Baskanyali and the Hussein Sazmar. The hooker wearing six will be Ali Bahayan Sura. And the back row, 11, Emre Katup. The four, Arda Dalek. 33, Vulcan Ur. And the bench is Yusuf Dagadanza, Erdem Gagoas, Alizian Akar, and Erton Enes. For the Vanuatu side, Stephen Tunga wearing the number one is at the back. Your wingers are Elixir Napa Karuna and the number 22, Amani Aratahiki. In the centres, Rob Franklin and the 19, Anro Kalpukai. The halves are the 11 and captain, James Wood, and the number 7, Andrew Kautonga. Up front, Selatasi Lolo and Kalsuma Oscar. The hooker in number 9 is Stanley Joseph. The back row, Ben Louie in the 4. The 12 is Daniel Kautonga. 13, Ben Henderson and Turkey wearing the white and red will get us underway. It'll come down to Andrew Kautonga and then away to Kalsuma Oscar. And straight away, a penalty against Turkey for two men in the tackle and a strip being affected. James Preston here with you in commentary for Bar TV Sports. Live and exclusive coverage of the Emerging Nations Rugby League World Championship. Turkey have had a very good tournament so far. They won both their pool games, thrashing Japan 60 points to nil. And also a win over the Solomon Islands, 30 points to 22. Vanuatu, they were able to reach the trophy semi-finals, but were humbled in the end by the Polish side, 44 points to four. So despite being in Pool B, they'll take on our Pool C second places, Turkey for this one. This is the overall finish for seventh out of all the teams competing in this Immersion Nations. Rugby League World Championship. They'll come left-hand side here, Vanuatu. Wood, out of dummy half. And now working it away to Daniel Kalatonga. 
very likely customer in the second row. Rangy and hard to stop. Come back to the middle of the field. Wood, long pass away to Andrew Kautonga. Shows it on the inside. Then comes outside of the 14. They'll find half a gap here as well. That was Rob Franklin. A calm short side. Wood, a very short side for that matter. Well picked up in the end from the 26. That was Jaden Salmon Cochran. And he did well. And I can't imagine that those white jerseys from Turkey will stay that way for too long. Work it away now to the 32. That's Keenan Tapperis. He's caught 10 metres out by Oscar and Henderson. Left-hand side now. Good tackle from the little halfback, Kautonga. Got a little high, but just kept it below the neck. Slow play the ball in the end for Baskinyali. Short pass. Big contact in the back too, but that's a good run from Hussein Sansma. Now come away here. The 11, losing his footing. Emre Katup. He'll be caught last tackle here. 40 metres out. They'll go right-hand side. Looking for a big kick here from Jensen Turgut, who's playing in the 5'8 position despite wearing the number 13 jersey. He's got a lot of pace here, Tungo, and he can wind up just a little bit. Can't give him any free room. He'll still keep going here, Tunga. Tunga off the left foot, spinning, turning in a circle. It's almost like he's a dancer putting on a couple of moves. Here's Aratahiki out of dummy half. Good footwork, and it hasn't worked out well for one of the Turkey players. That could be a serious injury in the background. He is limping. Now run once again here. This is Napa Karuna. Good metres in this set from Vanuatu. They're playing at pace. 14, Franklin comes away. Stepping off the left foot. So he seems to have recovered just for now. Ali Bahayan Sarur making the tackle. Henderson off the left foot. Coming back toward the middle of the field. Stopped pretty well there in the end from Baskinyali. Now play the ball. Joseph away to Wood. Wood showing it on his outside. Stepping, fending. Finds an offload. Little bit of space to move into. That will be the changeover, though. So we know that they like to run it on the last Vanuatu. They will test their hand. But Turkey have now got a chance to come away from their own line. Not a bad result, really, though, from Vanuatu. They head back to the centre of the field. Good tackle. Put on Alper Karabork, who, despite wearing the nine, is playing at fullback for Turkey. As I mentioned, it is an absolute jumble, this Turkish lineup, in terms of the numbers and positions. Henderson affecting the tackle along with Oscar. Come left hand side here, back up toward the middle. Lolo was in there, hands on the ball though. It'll be a strip and they'll tap and go. Referee says you're not on the mark. Go back and play it. So an up-tempo start to this one here. Live from field number two at St. Mary's Stadium. Seventh place playoff between Turkey and Vanuatu. That's not struck very well at all. It'll come right down in the end for Napa Karuna. He can come straight back at them. Good contact, but he was able to bump away from the initial tackle of Salman Cochran. Franklin offering it off to Ben Louie. The head heavily strapped. Pushed back. It's a good tackle, too, here from Baskinyali. Louie plays it to Franklin. Little dummy half scoot from Franklin. Picked up about five metres. Stanley Joseph now hopping into the dummy half roll. And he links up with Kautonga. Away to Wood. Wood showing it on his inside and then outside. And eventually he links up with the other Kautonga in the side, Daniel Kautonga. And he's caught around about 22 metres away from the Turkish line. Going left-hand side once again. Here's Lolo. It's a big boy, Selatasi Lolo, but they'll push him toward the sideline and do very well to get him into touch. It's good defence from the Turkish team. They just kept him upright and kept pushing. And in the end, it was a fantastic piece of play. In the Turkish defensive outfit. Score is still nil all here. And of course, if you are watching this via Bar TV Sports, or any one of our affiliate broadcasters, of course, Bar TV providing the coverage, but the Emerging Nations Rugby League page is also providing the stream, as are we here at Bar TV Sports. And I'm sure both the Vanuatu official pages and the Turkish official page will also be providing the stream for you. So let me know where you are watching from, whether it is Vanuatu, whether it's Turkey. Could be anywhere else for that matter. Here is Turkey trundling upfield. 
big, big hit up. Good one too. Bumped off two or three defenders and it took a further three to put him to ground. Henderson and Joseph in the end did the job. Coming left inside. Flat pass, a nice one too from Bascagnale. They'll link up and now there's a bit of space to run here. Salmon Cochran throwing it over the top. Away to another Salmon Cochran. It's a Salmon Cochran-a-thon. But the fast one back on the inside. That was a forward pass. And how about that? Salmon Cochran is Salmon Cochran. You're not going to say that too many times. And after that big run, they'll have an interchange here for Hussein Sazmaz. He's come off the field. And in his place, Yusuf Dagdanasar coming onto the field. So the rain just holding off for the moment here at St Mary's. Of course, it has been monsoonal at times throughout this tournament. We had a couple of matches moved to Kellyville earlier in the tournament due to the rain as Elixir Napa Karuna gets away from a couple of them. Still going. Turkey, though, will jam in on him and push him back in the end. Sun now coming out in force. Should create some good conditions for some expansive play, and we know that Vanuatu do like to throw it around. They're caught toward the middle of the field. Joseph going left-hand side. Away to Daniel Kautonga in those yellow boots. Another good run from him. Always threatens the line every time he touches it. Joseph, back to the middle. Here's Lolo winding up. They get underneath his legs, though, and eventually put him to ground, but he always picks up at least 10 metres. That's a very slow play of the ball. They're all over him. Wood supplies the kick and finds open space, but getting back there quickly is the Turkish side. Now head back toward the centre of the field, but it's a nice, strong defensive line that Vanuatu create, and there were no holes that he could find. Jumping out of dummy half now. Well caught. One-on-one -on -one tackle there. Putting him to ground nice and quickly. And they're all bunched at the moment. It's a mess in the play the ball. And I've got to say, I think that's a fair call because Turkey were milking it. And even though Vanuatu didn't clear that cleanly themselves, the Turkish player did put the ball directly behind him. So that is to be expected. So I get the scrum feed here, Vanuatu, from around 35 metres out from the Turkish line. Chance to post first points in this match. Fanned out nicely as well to the right-hand side. Louis out there, Kautonga, Franklin and Napa Karuna. They'll come to Amani Aratahiki. He's got pace. Can he get it away? No, just behind. Napa Karuna has to dive on it. Does well. In fact, no, he's left it behind. Salman Cochran comes up with it. Kautonga ends up with it. So it's a real mess in the end from Vanuatu. They went for the all-or-nothing play and they've come up with nothing. Tapras. Little dummy half run just to get away from the sideline. Low pass. Way to the 33. That's Vulcan Ur. He's still going here. Links up in the end with Turgut. And he's put on the deck. Center of the ground. 35 meters out here. There's a fly jumps in front of me onto my glasses and decides to stick there for just a moment. Just to make things even more difficult. Center of the field now. Turkey. Looked left. Went right. Turgut with the ball. Good tackle in the end from Woods. Just puts him to ground. Last tackle here for the Turkish side. Vanuatu. They look pretty set on this side, but Turkey will come that way anyway. Out to the four now. And he's left it behind. Kautonga can pick it up and run. Kautonga gets away from them. He's got pace. They're all coming for him, though. And if he'd been able to link up with Napa Karuna... I can guarantee you they would have struggled to catch him. Here is Napa Karuna now, getting away from a couple of them. Still going. The Turkish side reeling off the back of that loss. So both sides launching counterattacks. Here's Aratahiki. Big shot put on him. You can hear the contact from here from Dalek. Joseph out of dummy half. Away to Henderson. Holding the ball out in front of him in two hands. Threatened to link up with Lolo, but... Took it under his wing and took the tackle. Joseph comes away to Wood. Wood with numbers in support. Flat pass. Not a bad one in the end. They'll go in here, Vanuatu. Brilliant stuff from them. It's Amani Aratahiki who gets them on the board here. Lovely ball over the top from Wood. Then able to link up with Kalpukai. 
It was Aratahiki with a free passage to the line. First points to Vanuatu. The score is four points to nil with a kick to come. So good start here from Vanuatu. They'll have the kick to come from Andrew Kautunga, the little halfback. Just running through Vanuatu's results as well. Of course, they were competing in Pool B. They were humbled by Greece, 38 points to nil. They had another match, which is escaping my vision at this point in time. There it is. It was a thriller against Hungary. They led 13 points to 12 with not much time on the clock at all. And a late try to Hungary. Secure to come from behind victory. 18 points to 13. So Vanuatu, mixed results in the pool stage. But of course they are from pool B, Turkey, pool C. And based on how the competition is running, our pool A side is of course... Competing for the cup. Pool B and C competing for the trophy as Kautonga lines this one up and it's not going to have the legs. Trainer tries to catch it in the end. Score remaining four points to nil. And of course, in the playoff to attempt to get to the final of the trophy itself, Vanuatu met Poland. Made a good start, but Poland really ran away with it in the second half. Ended up winning 44 points to four. Turkey, of course... Been very strong in the pool stages, but they've also just fallen short of the trophy. So this one is the playoff for seventh place overall. Got three concurrent tournaments running within the one tournament. It has to be said, Confederations Cup, the trophy and the cup itself. As Turkey get us back underway and it comes down to Franklin. Slips as he catches it, but takes it nicely enough. And in the end, he's tackled from Dalsik. Puts him to ground. Here is Napa Karuna coming in for some work. They do have very busy wingers, Vanuatu. They like to get involved. Slow play the ball from Napa Karuna, though. Now they'll offer it to Oscar. Big shot put on from Dalsik. Swallowed him up. And Kalsuma Oscar is not very healthy off the back of that either. He seems completely dazed. I'll be quite surprised if he stays on here, to be honest with you. May have copped a bit of attention around the head, and he's not looking 100% at the moment. He's gone to ground once again. Here's Henderson making half a break and getting into enemy territory. It's a good set off the back of scoring points, and Wood will finish it nicely. Kick bouncing over the head of Karabork. Loses his footing, and then Louis and Wood converge upon him. The referee just blowing time off here. Just assessing Oscar, and I would have to imagine he's coming for a head assessment. He's not looked healthy ever since he copped that contact. So I'll have an interchange here. The Vanuatu side. It'll be the 16. 16, should I say. Danford Louis coming on for Kausuma Oscar. Made a strong start. But heavy contact. And hopefully that won't be his afternoon done. Louis enters the fray. Referee blows time back on in Turkey. Moving it away from their own line. Getting out of a couple of tackles here. Henderson came in with a real strong shot to finish him off. It's a good hit indeed. Caught 13 metres away. Centre of the field now come Turkey. Picked up around the legs. A good tackle from Joseph. Had a second effort though. Surely a penalty. And that was still his stuff from Stanley Joseph. Trying to put on a bit of a shot on Carter. Now tap and go. Bring it away now. To the big number eight. That's Bascagnale. Louis was in there to affect the tackle along with Franklin. They'll come short side now. Salmon Cochran back on the inside of Salmon Cochran. These two have linked up on several occasions. Salmon Cochran in support. He'll dummy and go himself. All the way in the end. Presley Salmon Cochran. Brilliant stuff from him. A great act of deception. Held them off as he first approached the line. A little dummy just to seal the deal. And as he approached the fullback, once again he had his fellow Salmon Cochran in support. Dummied and went once more. It's beautiful play from the Turkish national side. 
Those two have looked really dangerous so far. We've seen in the Polish team, Meta Angaro and Harry Sajka linking up to great effect. Well, it seems to be the same case here with Turkey. Two Salmon Cochrans causing all sorts of problems. So four points apiece is the score. Kick to come here from Ali Boyan Sura. We'll ignore that siren. That is for field number one. Still a fair bit of time left in this first half here. And conversion successful from Turkey, so they will lead six points to four. Boyan Sura adding the extras on that occasion. Both sides have made a pretty good start to this match. Enterprising play. They're happy to throw it around and test their arm. Just relishing the fact that it's not raining for once during this tournament. No kicking tee to start with, so on we come with that so we can get back underway. It's always fun to see things missing on a football field. Just hope it isn't the grass. Be wood. Start us back underway here for Vanuatu. Six points to four. Vanuatu have struck first, but Turkey now got a bit of revenge. It's a nice kickoff too, going deep into the in goal. Big shot on Baskin Yali, but he was able to bounce out of one and go forward a further five metres. He's caught 20 out. Good tackle from Louis and Henderson. Freshman on the field for Turkey in the 10 is Dagdanza. He was able to promote the ball, so they're still going here. Good run as well from the 11. That's Katup. And he's caught 35 metres out from his own line. Still early in the tackle count here. So Turkey, it's a good set after scoring points. Ball back on the inside. There was heavy contact too. Couldn't quite evade it 100%. Did just well enough to not be steamrolled though. Good tackle on the 33. Vulcan Ur playing the ball now. Come back to the middle. Turgut. Linking up here with Salman Cochran. Left foot, he's got great footwork. Steps a couple of times. Salman Cochran loses the ball. It's gone backwards, but Lolo dives on it. So Vanuatu come up with it. Would have been play on for Turkey, but Vanuatu were very quick on it. Louis is absolutely smashed into the ground. But there's some friendly fire. I think it might have been the boot that's caught the head of Dalsik. Swung around in the tackle on Louis. And I'm quite sure the boot has collected him. So we've already seen Kalsuma Oscar come from the field with a bit of a head knock. Could be a player here for Turkey now also leaving. Both sides are certainly up for this one. There is some real heavy contact to start this match, but he seems to be all right. It's Al Sixo. So he's been in the wars a little bit to start this match. Behind Sura. That marker, and that play the ball not quite on the mark, so we'll come back and do it again. Let us know where you are watching the coverage from. You had a Londoner on Thursday watching from a double-decker bus. It's one of the most bizarre places I've ever heard of someone watching rugby league. Joseph working away to Louis. Dalsik. He's got his wits about him again. He's made a good tackle there. Dag Denisar also to the top. Joseph, flat pass, nearly forward to Henderson. And they're all offside, though, the Turkish team. So another chance to attack. Henderson goes quickly, but you can't when it's an offside penalty. So be Wood to either tap or kick. Instead, he decides to tap. The Vanuatu side weren't ready for it, though. Fortunately, in the end, Kaltonga turned around. And then he turned confusing situation into a good little metre gainage of about 15. Joseph, out of dummy half, going short side. Way to low, low. Bounces off one as he always does. Ghost just short of the 20 metre line. Joseph, out the back, finding Wood. Linking up with Andrew Kaltonga. Kaltonga shows it to Louis. Away to Franklin. Franklin's got a bit of space. What a ball that is! Napa Karuna for the corner. He's been hit, but he'll get it down. Beautiful stuff.
from Rob Franklin. They linked up with Napa Karuna. It was a beautiful little Gidley flick from him. Awesome stuff from the Vanuatu side. They struck first and now strike again to regain the lead. So the two wingers going in, and we know that they do like to spread the ball wide, throw it around and use their speed men on the edges to finish. It's really well done from Franklin, though, to draw and pass. So in the other match, you might be able to hear in the background, Africa United. They have finished second in the Confederations Cup. So the Mediterranean Middle East side have taken out that tournament. We saw just a little earlier on this field here on field two. The Asian team running out winners and finishing third for the Confederations Cup, defeating the Latin Heat. He's got this one from right in front of me here, Andrew Kautonga. Of course, we're very much in the elements for the call in this game. Sitting on top of a ute. Pretty good vantage point, though, really. And just hoping that the rain stays away. I've decided to put on the beanie, just in case. There's a little bit of extra protection. Kautonga, 30 centimetres in from the right-hand touchline. 25 back. Just a little bit of breeze picking up now. The wrong time, and that is a shake and a half. There was a call that went out to the right of me. He's got it for sure. Maybe that just put him off a little bit. It's not the commentator's curse, it's the crowd curse. <laughs> and apparently I've outed him, and he's a bit embarrassed about it. <laughs> Score remains here, eight points to six. Two tries to Vanuatu, neither conversion successful. And Turkey, through some Salman Cochrane, individual brilliance, they struck back. But they'll have to kick us back underway here. Hope you're enjoying the coverage, courtesy of Bar TV Sports. James Preston with you in commentary. As Turkey prepared to get us back underway. Striking that one reasonably well. Comes down to Kao Tonga. Here's Louis with a full head of steam trying to go over the top of them. Dalsik was ready for it. That's exactly what you like to see. Winding up was Danford Louis. Franklin out of dummy half. Getting away nearly there from Bascagnale, who just held on around the top. Joseph, flat pass away to Henderson, off the left foot. Just poked his nose through slightly, but couldn't get an arm free. Slow play the ball. Joseph, away to Wood, turns it back on the inside. That was very flat. Sunga, got away from them though. Here he goes again, nearly away. A crucial tackle in the end from Dalsik. Tonga could have been away. Kao Tonga attacking this short side. Wood, little chip over the top. Napa Karuna's coming for it. Pad bounce for the fullback. But it'll beat them all over the line in the end. Concerning moment there for Turkey. I thought it was going to sit up on a point. Napa Karuna's already gone in once, and he has got a lot of pace. A couple of changes here for the Turkish side. Back onto the field is the number 21, Hussein Samsaz. He comes on along with Erdem Gagoas. The number 18. And leaving the field is Baskinali. He's had a good first stint. And also Yusuf Dagdanasar. Be Salman Cochran to feed this one for Turkey. 10 metres out from their own line. Vanuatu really piling on the pressure in the last 10 minutes. And Turkey win and come away through the number two. That's Carter. It's picked up and driven back for a moment. Kautonga still keeping him upright. The captain Wood also in there, but then he fights back for just a moment. Carter plays it on the 10-meter line. Fresh man back on the field in the 21. That's Sazmaz. He got the ball away here to Boyan Sura. It's a good little offload. And they've worked it up to the 30-meter line. Coming in for a run is Tapras. Tapras tried to get away from Joseph, who... If he can't get him around the legs, he'll just pull off the pants and make him do a nudie run. He's caught 30 away. Boyan Sura coming away here to Turgut, who showed it. He had numbers back on the inside, but he just couldn't find the offload. Tracked across there as Ur, and then he links back up toward the middle. Good tackle from Henderson, though. There's not many people that run over the top of him. That'll be the last here for Turkey. 
They'll come to Salmon Cochran. He supplies the kick. Not a bad one either. Making them turn around. Napa Karuna gathers it in. Beats one defender. Gets away from a second. And nearly beats Salmon Cochran. They're just able to stop him in the end. You do not want to give him any free space. He is lightning, as is this man, Tunga. But he's gobbled up from Sazmaz. Caught around 15 to 20 metres away from their own line. Franklin coming in for a hit-up. Ur got him around the legs. Along with Boyansura. Henderson picking up the ball now. It's a poor pass away. Turkey didn't move up quickly enough to take advantage of it. And in the end, Henderson promotes it a further five metres forward. A few more plays still in this one. Damien go himself here, Kalpukai. And that'll be the last. So they're all set for the kick. You'd imagine it would come from Wood. Does indeed find that man's hands, and he gets good contact on it. and make them turn around, but it's a good catch made in the end from Karabork. Work your way. Bit of a goose step, then off the right. Can he find a gap out wide? Franklin did just enough to stop him. And Ben Louie came over the top. He's all over him. I'm very surprised that's not a penalty. Trying to work it away. Not going anywhere, though. It's the 24 Karabork. So we've got two Karaborks in this lineup. Two Salmon Cochrans. On that occasion, it was the same Karabork. He'll play the ball. Boyan Suri. He's only got one man out on this blind side. Decided better against linking up with him. Salmon Cochran at dummy half. That ball went slightly behind Ur. But he keeps going forward and works it to within 35 metres from the Vanuatu line. So in a good position here, Turkey. Boyan Sura comes away to Sazmaz, who gets rid of one. Great offload, too. Still going here. It's the 11, Katup. That'll be the last, though. Comes away to Turgut. Turgut running with free abandon. Puts a little kick in behind. Nearly bounced over the head of Tunga. Turns around nicely as he does so often. He's got great footwork. Gets away from a few of them. Now there's open space. If he could have got away, he's got plenty of pace. Good tackle in the end, though, from Carter. And it needed to be made. Here's Napa Karuna out of dummy half. Carter trying to get him. He can't. Comes a second time and eventually, with the help of Katup, puts him to ground. Amani Aratahiki out of dummy half. Trying to run around Sazmas, but he can't get around Salman Cochran. Good tackle. From the little halfback, Kautonga having a run himself. Not much doing, though, on this short side. Gets a great offload away, though, to Louis, and he makes something out of nothing. Louis decides to just stop and stand. He felt that tackle was done. Could have offloaded. Thought better against it. Running out of dummy half now. That's the number 20 fresh onto the field, Alex Phillip. Kautonga on the last, giving it to Wood. A flat ball, and Wood. Angling it back toward the sideline, but it's an easy take for Salmon Cochran. Wood, good contact, but they kept going. Louis over the top. And it's Tapras offering it away here to the number nine, Karabork. It's Alpa Karabork. Got a quick play the ball too. No Marcus, but they didn't take advantage of it. In fact, it's a terrible pass in the end. Turgut picks it up. Good footwork. Gets out of a tackle. Keeps going. Wood is there, along with Henderson, to put him to ground. Exactly on the halfway line. Boyan Sura. It's a slow play the ball here from Turgut. I'll come away to Sazmaz. This big man, can he wind up? Gets an offload once again. He's been brilliant in that department so far today. Here's Ur. Picked up, but he gets an offload too. So plenty of offloads so far from Turkey. Eventually, they'll be able to make Vanuatu pay for not wrapping up the ball. Boyan Sura. Coming short side to Turgut. Little chip over the top. Gets a decent bounce for Tunga. And he's wrapped up. Good finish to the set there from Turkey. They've got Vanuatu pinned into their own corner here. Kaupukai with a run. Be Philip hopping into dummy half. Here's an eager runner for them. Big hit up too. It's well run in the end. I think that might be Max Talio coming onto the field for Vanuatu. Philip, away to Wood. Wood dummies once, then finds Ben Luai stepping off the right. Nearly beat the tackle there of the Turkish defender, but they'll put him to ground. He's done pretty well on that occasion, in all honesty. Philip, coming short side to Kautonga, has numbers in support. Franklin back off the right, twice. Finds a bit of a gap, now off the left foot. Franklin with his room to move, he's got Wood on his inside. 
I don't even think he saw him, though. If he could have linked up with Wood, it was a free passage to the line. Last tackle now for Vanuatu. It's a very slow play, the ball, though. Terrible pass from Kautonga. Comes behind Henderson. He doesn't know what to do with it. In fact, it's going to be ruled forward. It already looked to be a poor pass, but that was well and truly a terrible one from Kautonga because not only did it find no one, but it was forward. So it'll be a changeover here on the last. Turkey, just out on their feet at the moment. Vanuatu have got so much speed, and Franklin causing a lot of damage on this right-hand attacking edge. Sazmaz breathing in the big ones. Salman Cochran to play it to Boyansura. Eventually they'll get back underway here, Turkey. They're looking very tired at the moment. They'll keep rushing forward. Another interchange made. Back onto the field comes Baskin Yali for the Turkish side. Boyan Sura at dummy half. Gives it away to Sazmas. Can he get an offload free once again? Yes, he does. Every single time he's had a hit up today, he's been able to promote the football a little further. Ward over the top along with Phillip. Affecting the tackle. Boyan Sura away to Turgut. Out to Carter. Carter's got support on his outside. Doesn't use him. Decides to head back away from the sideline and back toward the centre of the field. And that's a knock-on in the play, the ball. Simple error from Turkey. There's a bunch of players breathing heavily at the moment. Salman Cochran out here on this left-hand edge. He's looking quite tight. As is the big number 21, Sazmaz. So Vanuatu have been controlling the tempo the last couple of sets. And it's beginning to take an effect on the Turkish defenders. See what they can come up here in pretty decent field position. They'll get this scrum. Just 10 short of the halfway line. Score still 8 points to 6. Two tries to 1 in favour of Vanuatu. As James Wood, the captain, feeds the scrum and wins it. Skips out Louis. Comes to Amani Aratahiki. He's caught just short of the halfway line. Phillip wanting a quick play the ball. Doesn't exactly get it, but it'll come away to Ben Louie here. Louie looking to link up. Good tackle around the legs in the end there from the number 11. That was Katup out here on this left-hand edge. Henderson back to the middle. Had numbers in support. Didn't end up using the number 18, Taleo. And Phillip away to dummy half. Freshman on the field as well for Vanuatu. And he gets the ball. Tony Louie pushing forward. So both Ben, Tony and also Danford in the side here. Kautonga did well to reel that one in. Wood back on the inside. That's a nice run from Kautonga. Still going, Daniel Kautonga. He'll be too big to stop. I mentioned before he's a likely customer and he threatens every time he gets the ball. And when he gets a full head of steam, he's a hard man to stop. And he has... Terrific footwork late at the line as well. And he's gone across here for Vanuatu's third try, Daniel Kautonga. So Vanuatu looking really good in this one. It's probably the best I've seen them perform so far in the tournament. Just didn't get given the opportunities against a very big Polish lineup. A couple of massive forwards for Poland, and they just dominated the middle. And that meant that Vanuatu couldn't do what they do best, spreading it wide and using their speed men. It'd be Andrew Kautonga to have this conversion attempt and push the margin to eight points. So it's a pretty important one. It's about three or four metres to the left-hand side of the uprights, 15 metres back. Slight breeze here, but nothing too intense. Strikes it pretty well, but it's still gone to the left-hand side of the uprights. So Andrew Kautonga missing an absolute sitter there. And despite being three tries to one, the score is just 12 points to six. So Vanuatu will be hoping that their goal-kicking doesn't come back to haunt them. If you're just tuning in, it is Turkey in the white and red running from right to left on your screens. They are trailing Vanuatu, 12 points to 6. Of course, Vanuatu in the green, black, yellow and red.
in an excellent match so far. Vanuatu really looking to promote the footy and test the defensive line as Kautonga nearly dropped that one. Away to Louis now. Good contact, though, from Katup. And he stopped him 25 metres out. Here's Philip at dummy half, pushing it back toward the middle. Franklin coming in for some work and nearly breaking the line. Thought there might have been a bobble there as well, and the referees picked it up. Straight onto it, the ref. This will be a good chance for Turkey to launch an attack. Of course, there is no scoreboard or clock here for field number two at St. Mary's Stadium. So we don't have an official time guide for you. But, of course, you will have the screen in front of you at home with all the necessary information. Unfortunately, I don't have that in front of me. So you have to bear with me in, t in terms of time checks here. As Turkey win the scrum and try to go right up through the middle. That's a Tim Sheens play from the 2000s for the West Tigers. Now play that. 30 metres out. Boyansura coming away. Flat ball. Thought it might have been four to Sazmaz. Jeez, he's hard to stop, isn't he? It'll take five in the end to put him to ground. Plenty of defenders coming in there. Now keep coming. Left-hand side. Away to Katup. Salmon Cochran. They didn't link up with him, and in the end they have paid the price. It is a knock-on against Turkey. And Sazmaz has been left down in back play as well. Big prop. Getting a bit of attention at the moment from the Turkish trainer, and the referee will blow time off. Of course, let us know where you are watching the coverage from. It might be in Turkey. might be Vanuatu. You might even be listening to the commentary whilst you're here at the ground. Could well be in St Mary's. And if you are in St Mary's, though, certainly come on down and have a watch because quality of football is absolutely outstanding. Looks like Sazmaz will be coming from the field now. It's been very damaging. Number 21, quite reminiscent of Dogzilla. Sam Cassiano, of course, now with the storm. There's a very similar sort of impact every time he has a hit up. Just going to try and get the feed open as well here so I can have a look at some of your comments rolling through. Keep them coming. Make sure you spread this one as well. Share it around. That's what this entire tournament is all about. Hope you're enjoying the coverage so far. All thanks to Bar TV Sports. Exclusive coverage of the Emerging Nations Rugby League World Championship. James Preston with you in commentary as Napa Karuna makes half a break. Still going here, Elixir Napa Karuna. He'll pick up 30 metres. It's a great run from the winger. And that's a terrible, terrible end there for Turkey because they've put their hands in off the back of a break, and that'll just invite more pressure on their defensive line here. So I've now got the Emerging Nations Rugby League World Championship Facebook page live stream open. So if you are on that stream, give me a little comment. and give you a shout out. We can find out exactly where you're watching it from. As Daniel Kaltonga works it forward. He's been super impressive in this one so far. Coming away to Talio. Look at him wind up. Trying to go over the top of a couple of them, including the number 10, Dagdanisar. Here's Henderson now. Numbers on his inside. It's a clever player, Henderson. He always holds it out in two hands, tries to attract multiple defenders. And he sucks in quite a few. Here's Phillip for a run, and he gets there. Alex Phillips straight out of dummy half. Had them backtracking, backpedalling. They couldn't get a proper footing. And he carried a couple of them over as the rain begins here at St. Mary's Stadium. Well, this is going to be interesting. We are outside. We're on the back of a ute. And I can tell you now, we most certainly do not have raincoats. We're seeing a bunch of the crowd now scatter. And Jim Calder is watching this from Brisbane. So keep those comments coming through. Let me know where you are watching it from. Andrew Kaltunga, we'll hope for a better one here. I just read one of the previous comments suggesting he was actually aiming at the trees on the far side of the ground. And that's why we had such a terrible kick at goal. 
I've got to make sure that my team list here doesn't get completely drenched because the rain is coming thick and fast as that conversion is successful from Cal Tonga. And that'll do us here for the first half. So we'll be able to take just a bit of cover as we wait for the second half. Hope you're enjoying the coverage so far. James Preston with you for Bar TV Sports. The score is presently 18 points to 6. Vanuatu leading Turkey. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with all the action in the second half, live from, from St. Mary's Stadium.
Welcome back to Samaria Stadium. James Preston with you in coverage from Bar TV Sports. Live from Samaria Stadium, we're on field number two. The seventh place playoff here between Vanuatu and Turkey. It's presently Vanuatu leading 18 points to six. Four tries to one, just the one conversion though. And also maybe a dead bird in the trees from that previous missed one. And we're now with Turkey with the ball. Around right about 42 metres out from their own line. If you're just joining us, they are, of course, in the white and red strip. Vanuatu in the green, black, red and yellow. Turkey working it away here. Back through the centre of the field. Nice little offload too. Away to Boyan Sura. He keeps coming up the middle of the field. That'll be... No, not the last. Another few in the set here. Turgut wrapping around the left-hand side. Puts in the kick with the left foot. Tung is back there, though. He's got good footwork, but he is a small man, so they might be able to pick him up and drag him back. They do exactly that. Great defence from Turkey. That's a wonderful start to the second half. Needed to be that way. And, of course, if you are just joining us, let us know where you are watching from. Multinating where possible between the streams. Of course, I've only got two hands, though. I'm not an octopus, so I can't use the pen, use the team list, use the microphone, and, of course, also use the phone. But we do have... Carol Butler watching from Hull, UK. Oral Power is watching from Townsville. And Brenda Holiday is watching from a holiday location, the Gold Coast, as this one comes down. Back to Baskin Yali, who's back on the field, the number eight for Turkey. Now work it away here. Coming off now for Dagdanazar. Front rows have been good for them, Turkey. That one over the head, but just managed to reel in there from... Gagoas, who's on for his first stint in the match. Turgut with numbers on this right-hand side. Wood came up, stopped him pretty quickly along with Talio. Talio hanging on for a long time there. Very lucky not to be penalised. Terrible pass. And Vanuatu came up to pressure them. Picked up, surely no advantage though. We'll have a scrum 10 metres out. So Turkey had a big opportunity there. They just weren't able to take complete advantage of it. And Boyan Sura just putting up the hand there. It was poor service from dummy half. Good little crowd here too. Bunch of Turkish fans to my right. Vanuatu spread out to the left. And we are, of course, on top of a little truck here. Very much in the elements. The rain just staying away for the moment, but... The second half, it did come down with a bit of force too. Speaking of force, here's Kao Pukai hitting the defensive line. Franklin going for a run out of dummy half. He had a great first half himself. And he'll work it just short of the 30-metre line. So Turkey holding firm at the moment. Here is Ben Louis in the head gear. Picked up. He's able to just put the foot back on the ground though. Got rid of Kaput for just a moment. Philip. Out of dummy half, having a run himself. He's already scored a try by doing exactly that. So they've got to be wary, the Turkish side. Here's Andrew Kautong, a flat pass away to Henderson. Good contact from Baskin A couple more come to stop him. That'll be the last tackle here for Vanuatu. They'll go to Wood. Wood to send it to the heavens. Decent contact on the kick. Coming down for Karabork, who takes it pretty well. Good footwork too. Got away from a few of them. Runs into Henderson. If, oh, that could be very dangerous. Silly tackling in there from Henderson. Turgut having a go at him along with Salmon Cochran. And he's got the fist cocked as well. Henderson, he was ready to unload. Wood in there too. Henderson thought better of it. Rushed away. That could have been very dangerous though. Definitely a penalty. But Henderson, he was really flirting with danger. If he unloaded, he would have been gone. He'd wound up almost cartoon style. Just hoping that this Turkish player is all right. Not 100% sure who is on the ground. Just obstructed by his other teammates and a couple of trainers. Turgut coming out to speak to the referee. The referee just suggesting he doesn't want to see anything fire up in this one. Of course, we had a pretty fiery encounter 
little bit earlier on this field between the Latin Heat. And the Asian side, and that match was won by the Asian team, so they've claimed third place in the Confederations Cup. This, of course, is the seventh place playoff. Vanuatu from Pool B. Turkey finishing undefeated but coming second in Pool C. They didn't win their semi final though, so here are those two teams playing out in this one here. Of course, Poland advancing. To the final of the trophy to take on the Philippines as Turkey tap and they're not even on the mark, so we'll come back again. The boy and Sura to get us back underway. Of course, teams have decided not to kick for touch in general, but that's a good one from Boy and Sura. Seen very few kicks for touch during this tournament. Teams opting to just tap and go and get back underway. And speaking of which, here is Carter stepping off the right. Good tackle though from Wood over the top. Kalpuka in there as well, the number 19. Turgut, way now to Volkaner, the 33, picked up by Henderson. You think he's fired up, but well, we certainly know he is. It's ready to unload. A couple of the Turkish players, good shot. But he's managed to get the offload away as well. Here's Karabork back through the middle. That was punched backwards from Vanuatu and then dived on. Clever play from Vanuatu on that occasion. It was a risky play. But a calculator risk. Here's Tunga losing his footy. If he can get away, and he's dropped it in the end. This is a big play on, but Turkey have knocked it on as well. So we'll have a scrum. Good tackle from Carter and also Volkaner on this right edge. It's a quick interchange here for Turkey as well. The number 12 coming on for his first stint. Erdenen is, in fact, sent back because it is a scrum. Gagoas. He'll be the man to come from the field. Once it is fed by Turgut. And Sazmas, that's good to see. He went off a little earlier with a bit of an injury, but he's back on the sideline and, of course, ready to cause some more damage. He's a big body and he does skittle the defenders. Here's Salmon Cochran off the left foot. Henderson wrapped him up, though. Also had some support from the 15, Tony Louis. Boyansura, away to Ur. As that interchange now occurs, so onto the field. Erden Enes. Wood, getting the tackle there. Boyensura, back to the middle. Turgut had numbers on the inside and outside. Dummies to both ways. Gets an offload away. Bouncing around. There's an opportunity still for Turkey. He's done very well on that occasion, though. Elixir Napa Karuna. They get a quick play the ball, though. Boyensura having a little scoot from dummy half. Heading toward the sideline, but they'll trap him and put him to ground before he goes into touch. Very sloppy play the ball, but there was people with a bit of interference in there from the Vanuatu side, so Turkey will get another set here, close to the try line. Now tap and go nice and quickly. Katup running four, but the referee suggesting it's not on the mark. We'll come back and do it again. So Sazmaz now also back onto the field. A few interchanges for Turkey. Katup will have a second effort, bounces out of one tackle, getting very close. He'll get half the team there in the end from Vanuatu to push him back out. They'll go short once more here. And I think he may have just got there in the end. Baskin Yali. He bumped off one. Went to ground very quickly. And the score will now read 18 points to 10 with a kick to come. Simple stuff in the end there from Turkey. It's a bunch of numbers too for Vanuatu, but... First contact needed to be a hidden stick, and Baskinali was able to bump off and find the turf. So kick to come here as well for Boyan Sura. He's one from one so far. And incredibly, if he gets this kick, they'll be just six points behind, despite the fact that Vanuatu have scored four tries. Just the one conversion successful from Kao Tonga. One of his attempts, they're still trying to retrieve the ball. May well be in the outback by now. Certainly struck it with a bit of force, but it was well wide. It's Boy and Sura sizing this one up. It's around about five metres in from the left-hand touchline. 15 metres back, so a big angle he's given himself. 
Strikes it reasonably well, though, but it's gone to the left-hand side, and the score will stay at 18 points to 10. Having a quick look as well at some of your comments here. Let us know where you are, of course, watching the game from. Yoxi is watching from Fiji. Amelia Vivas is watching from the Sunshine Coast. And a couple of watchers from Fiji, in fact. Hope you're enjoying the coverage so far. Exclusively brought to you by Bar TV Sports, the Emerging Nations Rugby League World Championship. James Preston with you in commentary as Vanuatu get us back underway. That one going nice and deep. Nearly over the head of Karabork, but they'll bring it back with a lot of vigour. Oh, Daniel Kautonga is smashed, but it's play on Turgut if he had released the ball. He had three unmarked men on his outside, but what a hit up. What a brilliant hit up. Henderson wanted to go on with it. His shirt's ripped. There's a high tackle as well at the top. So tempers beginning to flare here between Vanuatu and Turkey. Kautonga's still down in the background. It's all happening. Here comes Carter. Everybody coming in for a shot now. Vanuatu are fired up. Turkey certainly are. What a hit up it was. Coming away to the try scorer now. Baskin Yali. Good meters in this set. Up to the 40 meter line. Henderson with the ripped shirt. He's right into this one. Turgut sends it high. Hasn't gone very far though. It'll land middle of the field. No one's on it. Comes off the back of a Turkish player. That should be play on him backwards, but Boyan Sura has gone through them. Boyan Sura for the line. He'll beat Tugger. And there it is. 18 points to 14. Everything happening here at St. Mary's. Well, what about that? Daniel Kautonga has only just got back to his feet. It's one of the best hit-ups I've seen in a long time. It was left sprawled on the floor. And Henderson, well, we already saw him try to land a punch before. He wanted to have another go. His shirt's come off ripped. Turgut upfield. And eventually, Turkey crossed through Boyansura. Bizarre try, really. Midfield bomb. Hit the back of a player who didn't really know much about it. Back into the hands of Boyansura. Beat a few of them. And raced away. Really entertaining game as the trainer still with Daniel Kautonga here. He's come from the field now. I think it's unlikely that he'll be back. Looking a little dazed at the moment, just to the left of myself here in my commentary position. Spoyan Sura will have this attempt. Sun back out in force. It's the rain holding off for now. Bit of a downpour during half time. And if it does come again, we'll need more of what Boyan Sura has at the moment. A couple of towels. It's around 15 metres in from the left-hand touchline. 20 metres back. Didn't strike the last one particularly well. Once again, that one struck pretty nicely. And on this occasion, it goes through. So 18 points to 16. We have a game on our hands here at St. Mary's Stadium. Coming onto the field now is Danford Louis. Caught up with Dan for the other day when Vanuatu were playing against Poland. Had a lot of positive things to say about the state of Vanuatu and their rugby league competitions. Of course, this year they've also launched youth and women's comps in Vanuatu. So fantastic to see rugby league spreading far and wide within the country itself. Kicked off and back comes down to Turga. They'll wind up again. Henderson is up there. This running battle with Henderson and the entire Turkish team. Loving every minute of it. They come right hand side now. Wood coming in for a shot. They're all fired up here. Here's Henderson once again. It's getting very spicy at St. Mary's. Good tackle. Great to watch. Philip coming up to put on a shot. Here's Turgut. They're all fired up the Vanuatu side. Salmon Cochran using his good footwork to evade a few defenders. He'll take the next hit up here. Who's game enough? Baskinali, he's got to try himself. Henderson and Phillip put him to ground. Another good set here off the back of points for Turkey. Bayan Sura coming away. Sam Saz, he'll have a target on his back. Phillip flinging the arm out and then diving on top of him. It was a ball and all tackle. 
Boy and Sura. Away to Salmon Cochran. Little chip in behind them. It'll sit up on its point. Tunga had it to work. Nearly fell just short of him. And they're all offside, the chasers for Turkey. But a worrying moment there for Tunga. Just sat up on a point and defenders were streaming through and they could have even turned into attackers. Vanuatu get the penalty and it's a relieving one for them. It's been all Turkey the last five or ten minutes. And he'll find the sideline here. 35 metres out and go on the attack once again. Vanuatu tap and away to Ben Louie now. Hope you're enjoying it so far. It's certainly a fantastic game to watch. Michael French is watching from Newcastle. There's also a question, where's Aiden Cesar and Emre Guller? Of course, two NRL players. And there's more stuff going on here. Max Talio advancing toward the Turkish defence after the tackle as Lolo now brings it away. Numbers on this left-hand side. Phillip comes that way. Wood now back on the middle. Tanga, good ball and odd tackle from Carter, though. And Turgut also came along to finish him off. A few more plays left in this one. Phillip, left-hand side. Looking for a flat pass. Jammed in, did err. They're all lining up, so both sides very fired up at the moment. Henderson, the 13. You can see his shirt is ripped. Comes away to Wood. Wood flat pass. Kalpukai, good ball away to Amani Tarahiki, but that kick is far too long. Well, maybe if we're at the driving range, that would have been good, but this is rugby league. Far too big from Amani Aratahiki. That one isn't tapped on the mark, though, from Carter. We'll go again. Carter offering it to Bascagnali. Talio in there, along with Andrew Kaltonga. And also Ben Louie. Time off at the moment. There's still a player down to the left-hand side here. I think it might be Kaupukai. He's certainly not lining up in the defensive line, so 100% that is him. And he was hit as he passed it. He still hasn't regained his feet. Might have just a little bit of whiplash at the moment. Hopefully not another concussion. We already saw Daniel Kaltonga steamroll before. A bit of his own medicine, really, because he's caused a lot of havoc in this tournament. And all of a sudden, there you go, the magic sponge. Kalpukai is back with us. Bit of water and he's good to go. Turkey, play the ball. And come away on that left-hand side through Kutup. Finds Sura at a dummy half. Here's a big run now from Turkey. They split them. One-on-one -on -one with a fullback. Kalpuki is chasing. Oh, and he's ended up dropping it. Good defence coming across. Napa Karuna was chasing. Kalpuka was coming across from this left-hand side. He was that keen. And Tunga and Napa Karuna in the end, they did just enough to stop him. And he's come out limping as well. Arda Dalsik. He's not in a good way at all here, Dalsik. That knee looks shot. Can't imagine he'll be staying on the field for much longer, in all honesty. Trainer coming out now to attend to him. Fantastic match, this one. It's end-to-end, -end, back and forth. And both sides are just ripping in. Let's put a little break and play. We'll have a look at some of your comments as well. Make sure to keep them coming through. A couple of people watching from New Zealand. Cynthia Henderson is watching from Bly Bly in Queensland. I've never heard of Bly Bly, but there you go. The more you know. Plenty of support as well for Vanuatu and Turkey for that matter. This one coming to you live from St Mary's Stadium. Field number two. James Preston with you in commentary for Bar TV Sports. Exclusive coverage of the Emerging Nations Rugby League World Championship. If you're just joining us, Turkey are in the white and red. We've got Vanuatu in the green, black, yellow and red. Score. It's a tight one. 18 points to 16. Four tries to three. Vanuatu. Hopefully... Their poor goal kicking won't cost them. They do still have that slight margin, and it's really fired up here in the last five or ten minutes. They've nearly had two all-in brawls. Henderson has cocked the fist a couple of times as number four, Dalsic, who's had a really good game, leaves the field, and I 
struggle to think that he'll be back for this one. That knee looks shot just a moment ago. So they'll be using their seventh interchange here, Turkey. It looks to be Dagdenisar who'll be coming back on, so they'll swap out the four for a prop here. He's had a strong performance so far as well. The Vanuatu to feed the scrum. Very close to scoring a try on that occasion. And Dalsik is going to decline the offer of ice. He's still hopeful of getting back on the field as Dagdanisar will take his place in the scrum. 18 points to 16. Still a fair bit of time left in this one. Of course, the time on your screen is merely a guide. It's not the official time by any stretch of the imagination. As Vanuatu win this scrum. And according to our clock here on Bar TV Sports, as Napa Karuna is pushed back toward the end goal, and they've got him all the way back, but they'll blow the penalty for Vanuatu. Geez, I'm not sure about that from the referee. For mine, it looked like there was momentum in the tackle the entire time. Didn't seem to be as if the legs had been lifted up either. And now the captain for Vanuatu, James Wood, is down. So there's so much going on in this one. And according to our clock here on Bar TV Sports, there's 20 minutes left in this one. Set to be a very, very juicy finish as well. And Ian Reid is watching at 5 a.m. in Turkey. Now that is dedication. Also a little hello to Nick Shermer as well, joining our feed here. Joshua Bote as well. A couple of personal friends for mine. A few stoppages in this one the last couple of minutes as well because the contact has been fierce. And the captain for Vanuatu, Wood, he's feeling the effect of it. Off he comes and there is blood everywhere. I've just had a look at him now. Streaming down the arm. So we might see a bit of a Michael Devere occasion here with the staple gun coming out. It'll be Vanuatu to either tap or kick for this one. Stanley Joseph was trying to enter the field, but they haven't had an interchange yet, and he also doesn't have a car, so back he goes. A fine touch here, the Vanuatu side. 22 metres out from their own line. Stanley Joseph enters the fray in the number nine jersey. It'll be Amani Aratahiki throwing it back on the inside, and Kaupukai tapping, but once again, we're not on the mark here. Referee's a real stickler for this one. Henderson was ready to rip in. You can see the shirt, speaking of ripped. He's been a marked man, and once again, Turkey converge upon him. He's been the centre of a lot of violence, so to speak, in this game, and they've given him a little bit of a payback. He looked for mine as if he dropped it there. Referee hasn't spotted it. He's just clutching the neck too. So Henderson has nearly been the centre of an all-in brawl. He's put on a massive shot a couple of times, and he's been a marked man ever since Henderson bit of extra pressure on the neck there so hopefully he's all right referee hasn't seen it but conversely there was also a little bobble with the ball so both sides getting away with something in that one we'll blow time back on here so we've had a lot of stoppages in the last couple of minutes and that's primarily due to the impact that we're seeing here I hope you can hear it through the microphone, as I certainly can. Philip works her way to Franklin. Lolo now working it forward. And as is in there is the main tackler along with Katup. Philip out of dummy half. They wind up again through Talio. He goes right through them. Beat the initial tackle as well of Dagdanisar. And he came again, but he came when he shouldn't have. That'll be a penalty in the Vanuatu side. Are very happy about that. Franklin. I look to get back underway here. Kautonga getting his mark. He'll kick for the sideline. I found a lot of success pushing it wide in this match so far. Vanuatu, they've got so much pace in their wingers and also at the back and Tunga as Kaupukai taps and goes himself. Good footwork. Beat one defender. But then over the top came Carter. Phillip. Waiting at dummy half. He'll work it off to Franklin here. Franklin link up with Henderson. Once again, they jam in on him. 
Good tackle, and Boyansura has gone down in back play, clutching at the wrist. So everybody is getting hurt out here. Talio winds up. Gets out of two tackles, still going Talio. Another defender comes to bring him to ground. Phillip wants to quick play the ball. It was a messy one. And that'll go once again the way of Vanuatu. Marcus didn't clear out quickly enough from the play the ball. And the referee just blowing time off. I'm sure he'll have a word with the Turkish side. It's been a run of penalties now, but might also be for Boyan Sura, who's still struggling. It's just called out Turgut, though, the captain. So definitely it is a warning here. Any more penalties? And we could see some players in the bin. Franklin is also calling for it on this left-hand side. You fancy they might go that way. They've looked likely on both edges. And with Daniel Kautonga off the field, I will have to just look for another option in terms of a hard-running edge back rower. Here's Henderson taking the first hit up in this set. Slow one once again. Philip waiting at dummy half. Out the back to Talio, who's running flat and nearly going over the top of them. He's caught just a few metres short. Messi play the ball. Philip goes for a dart from dummy half. Halfway through the set now. Franklin, he'll have another crack himself. He twists and turns, but I don't think he's got it down. Referee having a look, assessing it. He's just short. Philip, once again, Talio. Big shot put on him, but he's managed to get the ball down, I think. The referee will look, have a point to the spot, and there it is. The try is awarded. Max Talio wound up, and he was able to get over the line. Just got the ball to ground in the end. And that's a nice buffer now. So the score is 22 points to 16 with a kick to come. A very important kick from Andrew Kautonga coming up. Jeez, what a game we are seeing out here. This is fantastic to watch. Your comments still coming through as well. A few more viewers joining from New Zealand as well. Brett Cussero is watching from Sippy Downs in Queensland. And Cynthia Henderson says, Go Ben Henderson from your mum and dad, Sunshine Coast, Queensland. Well, he's certainly in the thick of it, isn't he, Ben Henderson? As Andrew Kautonga lines this one up from about two or three metres to the left-hand side of the uprights. 15 metres back. It's a very average day with the boot. And once again, it's an absolute shocker. And I've got the Vanuatu team right in front of me. They can't believe he's missed it. Oh, wow. Someone get the hook. Give the man some kicking practice. That is, that is pretty average. 22 points to 16. The score remains. So Turkey still in with a red-hot chance here. Goal kicking has left them about eight points short here. He's one from five. And Vernon is watching from Kellyville. Of course, we had a couple of matches at Kellyville last week with all the rains coming down. Forced a venue change and the Ponds got its first ever taste of football. And for myself, it was my first time seeing rugby league played on an artificial surface as Turkey get us back underway. This one falls between Kao Pukai and also Philip. Now there's a bit of space to move down the sideline. Away he goes. I'm sure he's put his foot into touch. And he has indeed done so. The sideline official has seen it. The flag has gone up and despite some confusion, he most certainly did put his foot on that touchline. It's directly in front of the commentary position here. It was unlucky from Danford Louis. He found just a bit of a gap. Cal Pukai linking up with him. And James Wood is not happy, suggesting we've just scored a try, just got the ball back. Let's complete the set and maintain our advantage. How many more twists and turns can we have in this one? Very interesting match that is unfolding in front of us. Turgut will feed the scrum for Turkey. They're all set out to the left-hand side. Once again, the referee wants to repack this scrum, though, but credit to him. He hasn't got too much wrong in this game so far. Turgut still checking whether he can actually feed it. It's a terrible feed. That certainly seemed to be a knock-on for mine. But once again, the referee will suggest we pack it for a third time. It's 
So he's getting a bit of a training course on how to feed a scrum. Potentially we need to offer the same thing to Andrew Kautonga's goal kicking. 35 metres away from the Vanuatu line. It comes to Baskin Yali. Kautonga is there to meet him. Bit of help as well from Stanley Joseph. Bayan Sura out of dummy half. Giving it away to Katup. Working forward now. Talio is in the tackle. And he drove, drops off. Leaves it for Louis. Baskinali, flat pass away to Dagdanisar. Still going. Henderson. He's able to stop him now. Talio in the tackle as well. Bayan Sura. Can he link up out the back? Salman Cochran is there. Bayan Sura still dancing. Going very close to the line. That'll be the last tackle, though. What can Turkey supply? Turgut out of dummy half. He's not 100% sure what to do with it. Referee keeps the arm in the air, and that's a very poor end of the set from Turkey. Well, Turgut, it was a strange decision for him to hop into dummy half. He is their key playmaker. There was no one else, I suppose, to get there. But he had to leave himself free as a kicky option, if not Salman Cochran. But none of them were around. Exciting stuff here at St Mary Stadium. Approaching the final 10 minutes of this match. 12 minutes according to the Bar TV clock as Turkey muscle up. And try to put them back in the in goal once more. Playing this ball. Phillip coming left hand side. Henderson is hit by Carter. Good shot. Pushing him back toward the in goal. It's a bit sore and sorry after that one. Phillip picked up once again. Carter jamming in. Just throwing his weight around. To be fair, there's not a great deal of it, but you wouldn't know. Thought he might have left early on that occasion. Here's Talio. In fact, Lolo winding up. Gets away from them, but the pass is forward. Turkey. They'll get another chance here. Scrum to pack. Ten metres out. Ten on the clock. The margin is six. Vanuatu leading 22 points to 16. What can they provide on this occasion? It's the Turkish fans. They start a little clap and chant here. Great, great atmosphere for this match on field two at St Mary's Stadium. James Preston with you in commentary for Bar TV Sports. Hope you're enjoying all the coverage of the tournament so far. Of course, today is final day. We've got eight main matches and a stack more in between. A couple of Women's matches, including the Police Academy playing. The big one begins just before 4 o'clock. It'll be Turkey to feed. Karabork hopping in to the halfback position for the moment. Had too many players in the scrum there, Turkey. Turgut will get it. Set play coming. And they don't use it in the end. That was pretty basic. Away to Enes. Flat pass. Here comes Baskinali looking for his second. Spins around. I think he's put the ball down. The referee suggesting he's held him up. I thought he may have just got the ball onto the ground, but there must have been a hand under there from Vanuatu. Baskinali thought he had a double. Turkey putting all sorts of pressure on the Vanuatu line. They've got numbers on both sides of the play the ball. Turgut is to the left. Surely that's the way they'll go. Salmon Cochran also out there. They'll ignore both of them. Comes away to Ur here. Vulcan Ur gets an offload. Carter decides to dive on it. That's safe play. Bayan Sura. Milky it on that occasion there, Carter. He'll go back to the mark and play it. Bayan Sura. Having a run out of dummy half. Found half a gap. Henderson came and closed it along with Lolo. Not offering much so far in this set, Turkey. They're up very quickly as well, Vanuatu. Turning it away now. Once again for Enes, who lines up. Lolo puts a stop to him. Henderson around the legs. Once again, not much happening in this set. Last tackle now for Turkey. They're all bunched on this left-hand side. A little inside play. Baskinali for the line. Well, baskinali has got there. Bayan Sura turned him up underneath. And the prop four has died over. What a game we've got here. 22 points to 20 with a kick to come. This is a huge, huge kick to come from Bayan Sura. And the referee is calling out a Vanuatu player here. I think it's Lolo. 
Henderson coming out too. Oh, Deshume. It's potentially filling in as the captain with Wood off the field. The referee just laying down the lawn here against Lolo. So just have a look at the sideline, and the captain, Wood, is getting taped up. He had a lot of blood coming from the forehead before. It's 22 to 20, and there's a couple of unhappy Turkish players in the background yelling out instructions. This game is theirs for the taking if they want it. Turgut coming out. Just have a chat with the referee as well. He's not going to let all the conversation be one way between the ref and Vanuatu. Not exactly sure what they're discussing, to be honest. It has been a bit fiery, but nothing has really blown over as of yet. We'll take a quick look at your comments as well, so keep them coming through. I love that one from you, Craig Civic. Who says the season is over? That's right. We're seeing some fantastic footy today. There's plenty of people watching from New Zealand. Trix Roberts is watching from home in Vanuatu. So wonderful support from across the globe. Hope you're enjoying this match. Certainly should be. It's a blockbuster so far. In terms of time on the clock, of course, the referee has blown time off here. We've got just under seven minutes remaining. Very important kick coming up for Bayern Sura. The referee is finished with what he's had to say to Vanuatu. Very important kick. From Bayern Sura, 22 points to 20. Turkey trailing by two, just over six minutes remaining. He's around 15 metres in from the right-hand touchline. 15 back. It's been reasonably good with the boot today, Bayern Sura. Strikes it nicely and he's got it. So he's three from four, Bayern Sura, and the score is 22 points apiece as the love hearts come out from Bayern Sura. He's very appreciative of the support here from the Turkish fans, and I must say, there's quite a few of them. They're all banked up along this right-hand side from the commentary position. I'd say there's at least 100, maybe 200. It's a lot of fans streaming over to field number two here. For good effect, this one is a thriller. Scores tied. Six and a half on the clock. Daniel Kautonga, the number 12, he's recovered, and he's back on the field, so... He'll be a real focal point for the Vanuatu side. They've let that one bounce. That could have been dangerous from Turkey. They'll bring it away through Dagdanasar. Henderson coming in for the tackle. Bayan Sura out of dummy half, finding Katup. And Katup nearly went all the way through. He can get a quick play of the ball too. There's room to move for Bayan Sura. Here they go. Vanuatu on the back foot, winding up nicely. Max Talio comes across to put him to ground, along with Henderson. But good metres so far in this set from Turkey. They played on the 40 line. Here's Baskinyali. A bit of a hero for Turkey in this match. He's already got two tries, including the last one. A very important try. And I can't believe what I'm seeing as well. Back onto the field comes Adra Dalsik. Away to Carter now, who kicks early in the set. Thought he could have kept that one in the hands. Tunga is back there to get it. They'll pick him up and try to put him in the in goal, but he goes to ground well. Clever play from the fullback. Five to go. Vanuatu playing this two metres from the line. Kaupukai. Carter trying to drive. They're very slow to get back on side here, Vanuatu, and help out their fellow teammates. Lolo is put to ground. We're halfway through the set, and they're just ten metres out. Turkey firing up in defence. Here's Kautonga with his first hit up since coming back on the field. Picked up once again. Dalsik and Ur in there. The Turkey support is loud and proud at the moment. Philip back to the middle. Good hit up on this occasion. Vanuatu, though, on the last. They haven't reached the 20 metre line. They'll need a big kick, and Wood is off the field. Kautonga calling for it. Pressure coming his way, you think. A nice strike, though. That's a beautiful kick from Vanuatu. Finding open space. Karabork will pick it up on the 30 line. Goes down a skinny short side. Nearly got away from them. Turkey in good field position. They'll be caught tackle number two, just short of the halfway line. In fact, they'll end up exactly on it. Ball comes free. Referee has ruled it's a knock-on. So Vanuatu, 
They'll survive there. They're under immense pressure from Turkey. Scrum to pack on the halfway line. What a finish we have coming up. Unfortunately, my phone has now died, so I can't give you a, a time check here. You also can't read your comments, but I hope you are enjoying the coverage. Be approximately four minutes left in this one, I'd have to imagine. Vanuatu to feed the scrum. We're live from field two at St. Mary Stadium. Another Turkish player has gone to ground here. Had quite a few injuries in this second half. To be fair, it has been paid at a frenetic pace. And the contact has been to die for. Well, who says footy season is over? This is as good as you're going to see anywhere. Awesome match playing out here between Vanuatu and Turkey. Vanuatu will have the scrum feed from the halfway line. Now, of course, against Hungary. They did take the field goal to lead 13 points to 12, but conceded a late try, so we know they can kick them. They might have to here if they get in range. Elixin Napa Karuna playing the ball. Now it comes away to Franklin. Daniel Kautonga trying to go over the top of them. Carter did well. Ball's come free. I could have sworn their hands on it, but there'll be no penalty forthcoming. There was definitely hands around the ball. I don't know if it was intentional, though. I think he was just trying to free his arm. So 50-50 call, and it benefits Turkey. Carter still suggesting, in fact, he's suggesting he may have been bitten. So referee will blow time off. He's come up pointing at a mark on his arm, and there may well have been a bite from a Vanuatu player. So we're getting an official report being made here as well. And it looks to be against either... Well, Carter's pointing at one of the players. And he does have a mark on his arm. So you don't like to see this. You can just see him there once again, gesturing to the official of the tournament here. So it is an official report. No further action will be taken at this point in time, though, so I'm sure that coverage here from Bar TV will come in handy if we need to have a second look at that. Sakata making the report, but Turgut to feed the scrum. 22 points apiece into the final stages of this match here between Turkey and Vanuatu. As once again, the referee wants us to feed the scrum. The slight alteration to the angle. Making sure everybody is bound. Got Greece and Hungary warming up in the background as well. That should be a fantastic clash. As Dalsik comes away for Turkey, beats a couple of defenders. Dalsik winds up. Getting toward the halfway line. Boyensura offering it away to Salman Cochran. Good footwork once again. They're very dangerous, the Salman Cochran brothers. Flat pass. To Baskin Yali, a hero today for Turkey with two tries. He's caught 40 metres away from the Vanuatu line. Couple plays still left in this one. Does the field goal become an option? Good shot from Lolo on Katup. Henderson will come across to finish him off. It's tackle number four. Bayan Sura, away to Turgut. Numbers to the wide, Ur is well caught. Jemmy, and this will be the last. If they want to take the field goal, they've got to go now. Bayan Sura, they'll come short side. Turgut, little grubber in behind. It'll bounce up nicely though for Tunga. Running sideways. Makes a smart play in the end and goes to ground. All the pressure on Vanuatu here. Here's Amani Aratahiki getting away from one, but running sideways once again. They need to go forward, Vanuatu. He's caught five metres out. Two plays gone. Louis, that's exactly what they need. A nice strong charge heading forward. Slow play the ball, though. Phillip waiting at dummy half. Links up with Henderson. Another side was run. Pushed back in the end, so they've lost ground on that play. Two left in it. Phillip offering to Lolo. Good contact. But it has hurt Volkaner. He's clutching the face. 
He was ready to get up and play it. I think that's a little unfair on Vanuatu, in all honesty. They're now really going to be under the pump to get a good kick away. It'll be Philip waiting at dummy half. James Wood is going to come on for the final here. And, of course, we know he can kick a field goal. So this is a strategic interchange from Vanuatu. Kautonga and Wood would be the two options. You'd probably think for Turkey to be Turgut and Salman Cochran, who will take the snap if it comes to that. 22 points apiece. As I mentioned before, this game has been played at a frenetic pace. There's a bit of blood from either the nose or the mouth here from Vulcan Ur, it looks like. And it'll be a head assessment. So that'll be his afternoon done, Vulcan Ur, but he's played very well as the applause rings out for him here at St Mary's Stadium. And it'll be Dagdanisar coming back onto the field. Not much time left in this one at all. Vanuatu to play it. There's blood on the face of Lolo as well. So I wonder whether there was a head clash in there. Terrible pass to Wood! Oh, no! It was an awful ball from Philip. Wood was under all pressure. We've got around about a minute left in this one. And the scrum will happen 15 minutes Sorry, 15 metres away from the opposition line. Turkey with a huge chance to put the nail into the coffin. It was the last tackle, so we'll play the ball instead. Bayan Sura out of dummy half. Offers it away to Ennis. Ennis going past one of them. Nearly found a gap. He'll be caught 10 metres away. Can they hold firm Vanuatu? Surely they must go for the field goal at some point in this set. Baskin Yali looking for a hat trick. You don't see props doing that very often. Bayan Sura, there is the, the full time siren. They've dropped it. Kick forward from Philip. What is he thinking? Kick through. And nearly we could have Turkey going in for it. And I'm not sure what's going on here. Is the siren for this field or the other one? Apparently it's play on according to the referee's watch. We're definitely inside the last couple of minutes. Franklin will touch it. Seven tackle set. So a bit of confusion here at St Mary's Stadium. Siren might have gone off early. Here's Napa Karuna. Good shot put on him from Dalsik. The ball's come free again. Turkey with another opportunity. Well, the fans are right into this one. So the siren in the end, despite being very close to full time here, as I mentioned before, our official timepiece has gone down. So we're not 100% sure of the time, but there could not be more than about two minutes remaining in this one, you'd think. On last check, we had four minutes remaining. And by my watch, that was probably five minutes ago. Of course, we have had some time off, so we do have to account for that. They'll feed the scrum here, Turkey. Running away. Kautonga made the tackle. Bayan Sura offering it off to Baskinyali. That's a good run. Picked up 10 metres before he found Lolo. Henderson over the top. Turgut directing traffic. I think they'll go for it here. Turgut still pushing players where he wants them. Bayan Sura waiting at dummy half. Surely he was held about five metres before that, but the referee will say, yes, there we go. Go back to the mark and play it. Dagdanasar playing the ball. Here's Turgut. Doesn't take the snap. Flat pass instead. Dalsik gets through one tackle. Still going Dalsik for the corner. Dalsik's in. And Turkey, that must be it. Arda Dalsik, what a heroic effort from him. He left the field with what seemed to be a pretty serious injury around about 25 minutes ago. He's come on at the end here. And he may well have won the game for Turkey. 26 points to 22 with a kick to come. And it's Arda Dalsik, the hero. And you can see him there. He's still struggling to regain his feet. He's almost playing on one leg, but when he was offered the ice when he first came off, he declined it. 
And it's a good thing for Turkey he did. Well, by and Sura, you'd think there's probably not enough time for Vanuatu here to launch a final attack. Nonetheless, this may still be an important kick if they can somehow muster a try of Vanuatu with the time remaining. He's getting right into it too, by Sura, flicking up the grass, seeing what way the wind is blowing. Hasn't bothered with that for any of his other attempts. Bit of theatricality to finish with. 26-22. Kick to come from by Sura. Five metres in from the left-hand touch line. 20 metres back. He's been pretty good with the boot today. Referee has blown time off. And there it is, time back on as Bayansura kicks it. Looks pretty good in flight, but it just fades across the front of goals. So Turkey, are they ready for the short restart? And for that matter, will Vanuatu opt for it? So they've got a couple of players coming forward now. They'll stack this front area. And what, well, based on how Woods has lined up this kick, it looks like he's going to go long. And Woods does exactly that. So they've opted against the short restart. Bounces up now. Ennis coming back at them. Good hit. Put in there from Lowe's low. And Henderson over the top. Dagdanasar loses his footing. They'll all converge upon him. Talio holding onto the ball. Gets a quick play of the ball. Nonetheless, though, Dagdanasar. Turgut with ball in hand. He shows and goes. Can he link up? He's left it behind him. Here comes Amani Aratahiki. Aratahiki for the corner. He might get there. He's done exactly that. Can you believe it? Aratahiki gets his second. They've got so much pace out wide. And they had no one out there. Once the ball was spilled, there was always a chance. Vanuatu tied back up. And it's 26 points apiece. Kick to come. And of course, we don't have an official score in front of us in terms of the clock with how much time is remaining. But this kick, as I mentioned with the previous one, could be all important. Of course, the clock on your Bar TV sports coverage is merely a guide. So it is not the official timepiece. The referee has that. With no scoreboard here, only he truly knows how long is left in this game. A massive kick, though, as the wind now picks up, just to make it that much more difficult for Kao Tonga. Now, given he's missed a couple from nearly in front, it would be quite literally a miracle if he gets this one. But he would go into folklore in Vanuatu if he can. What a kick it could be. 26 points apiece, two metres in from the right-hand touchline, wind picking up. The Vanuatu side is huddled together on the sideline here. They're willing this one over. Kaltonga, an enormous kick, the biggest of his career to date. Two metres in, 25 back. Wind picking up, steps in, strikes it nicely. Will it have the legs? It looks all right in flight. Katonga just short. Just short, it's gone underneath the bar. The score is 26 points apiece, and there is the siren. So that was well and truly the last play. Now I'm assuming, given that we have an official coming out to the centre of the field, that he's going to lay out the instructions as to how extra time will work here. Unfortunately, we don't have a mic on the referee, so we can't hear it. So Turgut coming. I think we'll have another coin toss here. So, of course, this is a playoff match. Whoever wins finishes seventh. It's 26 points apiece. What a game it's been. For some reason, Wood has taken off his shirt. The game isn't finished yet. Apparently, this is what we need to do to flip a coin these days.
And Wood is selecting what way he'll run. He'll need to get dressed before he can do that, though. In fact, here comes a new shirt for him. Not sure what was wrong with the old one. Potentially a bit of blood on it. Of course, he's got the head bandage now. So, based on my skills as a sign language reader, which I must admit are very poor, they might switch over at some point. And it looks like potentially we'll have five minutes of one half and then the rest of it might go into extra time for eternity until someone scores. But based on the amount of tries in this one, you would imagine that there is a couple of opportunities. Tonga so close. Kao Tonga was just so close with that kick, falling underneath the crossbar. 26 points apiece. And more drama in this match than I think we've probably seen in the entire tournament. Awesome game for viewers. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. James Preston with you in commentary as Turkey will start off the first period here of extra time. They'll kick it nice and deep. Down to Kao Tonga. Here's Talio winding up. Look at him storm into them. Max Talio, back with a venom. Philip, waiting at dummy half. Here's Danford Louis. Good footwork at the line. He picks up another 10 metres. Dalsik, well, we thought he was the hero for, for Turkey. Oh, and there's another big shot too. Put on the other Louis. But we thought Dalsik was the hero. Then along came Amani Aratahiki and Kao Tonga, so close but so far. Wood bringing it to the left-hand side. He's got them stopping and propping. Fresh jersey on now as well for Wood. Carter made the tackle with Turgut. Phillip away to Daniel Kao Tonga, hitting the line hard. Ennis came in. Carter as well. That'll be the last tackle. It's a good set so far. They'll need a big kick though. Why is it going to a prop forward and he's dropped it? A brain explosion on the last from Philip out of dummy half. He had to find a kicker. And Turkey now have their set from halfway. Goodness me. A real mix-up from Vanuatu. Carter to play the ball. Bayan Sura giving it to Dagdanasar. There goes Yusuf. He's caught. 45 away from the opposition try line. Good run here from Katup. Takes a few of them to stop him. Henderson holding him up. Two plays gone. Turgut. He'll keep it toward the middle. Good run. Beats another defender. And another spins in a tackle. Turgut still going. He's beaten four of them. 15 metres away. Halfway through the set. Sam Sass comes back on. Enes now. The 12. A big fend on the face of Henderson. Now's a good time to go for it. Carter's calling for it on the right though. Comes back. They've gone for the prompt to kick it. And he's got it. Turkey have kicked it. Can you believe it? Baskin Yali. Out of absolutely nowhere. Unbelievable stuff. Adam Baskin Yali. He'd have to be the most unlikely field goal kicker you've ever seen. But the prop forward as the Turkey fans stream onto the field. He's kicked the goal. 27 points to 26. He's already got two tries. He is well and truly the hero for Turkey. And it's heartbreak for Vanuatu. What an absolute brilliant match. It has been a pleasure calling it for you. James Preston for Bar TV Sports. Vanuatu will finish eighth. Turkey seventh. What a match to wrap up here on the final day of the tournament. All brought to you by Bar TV Sports. Hope you've enjoyed the coverage. It's been a pleasure bringing it your way. Turkey, 27 points to 26 over Vanuatu.